I'll make the drop off. You stay here. You'll be safe. I'll be safe. Radix wins. Everyone wins. You want to do this without me? This isn't your fight, Lena. But you can let me help just for this last leg, right? Great plan, girl. You go make history. I'll just twirl my thumbs in this tin can. It's the only way. I don't know why you're being like this, but even if I thought you were doing it for the right reasons, I'm not just trying to grab the glory. What? I'm not sure I could trust you to pull it off without me. Please don't be angry with me. I'm not angry. I'm just... Or it's just... You're like the least selfish person I know, person I know, and I was hoping we could do this together. I mean, after everything I've done for you, just give me this, okay? This could go really, really badly for both of us. Then why are you here? I was worried sick about you. Is this about Capra, or... I just... This was my idea to bring Radix to the next level, you know? No offense, but you, like, just got to LO, and I've been working my way up for months. So I need, uh, so I just need to do this my way and then I can bring you in, okay? She wasn't going to budge. I knew for years, I knew from years of watching people get pushed in and out of little our little circles, Savvy always got her way. I remember Una's final confusing message to me and the weird look Savvy got on her face when I brought it up. Hey Athena, search trust fund maggots. A new folder flew open on, uh, on her hollow space. At first all I saw was my name over and over again in the files. There were others I... Uh, there were others I recognized. Liam, Ali, Una, even Klaus and Merrick. What is this? It was just to keep you safe. When I said I'd always have your back, I meant it. As soon as... As soon as my field grid pulsed a deep violet, a new file appeared in the folder with a sick ping sound. Yeah, field grids, ha field grids have a, pr a back door pretty wide open. Charlie showed me, even more undocumented API. You've been tracking me? You've been listening to me in my packs this whole time? No, no, not at all. I just thought it'd help you. When I stashed the file on it, I needed to make sure you were safe. So I could signal someone to come get it. Or tell a swarm where to find you if, if Capra was getting too close. I haven't even listened to anything, I swear. I had to see for myself. Hey, Athena. Seriously, are we doing this right now? Play audio, Liam. I don't understand why you do this to me. Do you even understand what a huge violation this is? Oh god, don't give me this sad puppy thing over this. You're in a pretty good mood. You have nothing to worry about. It was just to keep tabs on the file. I swear, I haven't even looked at what was what it recorded. So now it's time. We leak the capper files and go get a drink, okay? You don't get it, do you? I'm doing this by myself. You'll get caught and take everything down with you. All by yourself, huh? That's not happening. I've worked way too hard to just let you walk out of here without me. You're the one that's been transporting stolen docks for days, remember? That you gave us! And who knows what else is in those recordings. Don't make me turn you in. So everything had come down to this. Finding my best friend had betrayed me and having to fight her just to be able to walk away. How was her field grid still a calm green while mine glowed blue? Why was I the old, why was I the one who felt like walking into the ocean? Are you blackmailing me right now? It's not like I want to. Who's forcing you? I mean, 
I get it. Like I, I, I am. You feel like I am, but come on, this isn't us. We're better than this. And this isn't you trying to sabotage me. I'm not trying to sabotage you. You're going to jail if you go try to do this. And this whole thing will not work. You're going to jail. I'm going to jail, probably. Just, just let me do it. I know you're better than this because I know you better than you know yourself, girl. You know what I mean? That's, no, don't say that to anyone. That's not cool. Oh, but apparently we're cool with it. I knew exactly. She knew all my secrets, all my fears, even before she'd spied on me. She knew exactly how to hurt me. But then again, I knew the same things about her, didn't I? She was going to throw anything, she, anything she could at me. Maybe I had to do the same, or at least try and get her to see the truth about how she treated me. It'd make her mad, and it just might make her give up. I forced myself to take a deep, centering breath. The smallest smirk flittered across her face, still lit in the green glow. You know, you've never really cared about anyone but yourself. Maybe it's because you're an only child or something. But you're not in this world alone, Lena. You rely on others, too. That hot doctor, what's his name? Okay, you, you have been tracking me. Not that hot. You couldn't even spare a couple bucks for his free clinic. After he spent... After he spent his time helping you instead of some poor, uninsured kid. It's just all about you, isn't it? It's the only time that we ever did anything that wasn't, like... Does all I've done this week mean anything to you? After everything I did, how I helped you? I can't believe you just throw that all away. Why was I trying to make her see value in me? Why was I fighting to keep my place in her life after she'd treated me so horribly? I couldn't believe our big reunion had turned into this. I was losing the energy to keep fighting her. Self- oh, okay. This feels really unfair. Whatever. I could tell that she was just getting started. I already felt like I was I was losing, letting her jab get to me. Nothing seemed to phase Savvy. Savvy looked like she was enjoying all this somehow, like she was in her element. This is exactly why I left you in Cactus Flats. Your emotions are out of control. I get that you're sensitive and all the this deep feeling stuff. But you've got to toughen it in, toughen up and rein it in, girl. It's like constantly walking on eggshells around you. You didn't even defend me when Azul was talking trash. Guess you don't mind when someone sells out your best friend. Meanwhile, I was in danger and risking my life for the cause. Some loyalty. You're so volatile. You must have scared half your packs off for good. I'm not going to rehash old fights with you right now. If you want to talk about what ha happened in Cactus Flats, we can, we can, but not when we're both so upset. What, are you a Buddhist now or something? Trust me, it gets real old, fa uh, old real fast. Staying calm was keeping me centered. My heart ached to think of losing her. I couldn't even, uh, I didn't even care about being right. I just wanted her to stay with me. I don't think that's going to helpful. Why are you being so mean to me? Whatever. I knew there was no way she was going to stop piling it on now. I could almost feel her combing through our path for the next our past for the next attack. I had to keep centered or just make her mad enough to back off. It was like Savvy was wearing a mask. Nothing broke through. Savvy still had that self-important look on her face. You know what the shittiest part of all this is? It's that the moment I let you... It's that the moment I let you out of my sight, you'll undermine me. You pretend you're so innocent and sweet, but you do something bad as long as you know you won't get caught. 
That's basically lying. You're a fraud. At least I'm always real with you. Those German tourists couldn't even tell if you were a human. Come on. Gee, I think you'd be proud of me for being a hypocrite. Isn't that just what we do now? Are you only interested in things that make you the hero? Why had I let her get under my skin? She was trying to make me mad. My heart ached to think of losing her. I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm supposed to get through this. I don't know what the things I say are. Thought we were better than this. Whatever. She was running out of steam, struggling to find one last barb she could throw at me. Whatever she came up with, I knew it was going to be desperate and mean. I couldn't fight like this for much longer. She was hitting me where I was weakest and it was working. It was like Savvy was wearing a mask. Nothing broke through. Savvy still had that self-important look on her face. Lena, it's time to grow up. Stop being a meek little flower. Because right now your fear is keeping you from getting what you deserve. Toughen up. Don't be such a weakling. It's so sad that you're s still scared of what people think of you or what might go wrong. When will you learn that sometimes following the rules just hurts people? You're right, I am scared, and there's nothing wrong with that. The fact that I'm scared to do this mission with you. I'm just trying to look out for myself, and you should respect that. Gee, thanks for the advice. Just forget it, okay? I felt some tension lift from my chest. Was this how it felt to stand up for myself? I took a deep breath. I don't know what you're trying to prove. Whatever. I don't want to do that, though. Alright, this game clearly has branching story, multiple endings, and I have failed the ending that I wanted to get to. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Ugh. Go change the world, shall we? We're gonna go out and she's gonna get arrested in like 20 minutes. It's gonna be awful. Let's go! Wow, everything looks exactly the same. Weird. What did you expect? I don't know, maybe the city would feel different, you know? Well, it definitely will after we've done this thing. She leaned back in the back seat and closed her eyes. Just once, I'd like to have a, her confidence that everything would be okay, that I was doing the right thing. I had my feel grid probably still listening to my every word. It wasn't too late for me to end this. One quick toss out of the car and it'd be smashed against the pavement. 
I stuck a glance at Savvy and rolled down the window. Yes. Fresh air. Never ever tell me what it smelled like in my little hideout. I want to live with the lie that it was a mix of jasmine and amber and not all six days of takeout and no showers. With the field grid gone and be over and done with, our crimes would be erased. I don't think they would be. But so would Capra's. And my friendship would, with Savvy would definitely be finished. She'd never forgive me. Sticking with the plan. I can't even... Savvy, get down. Hide your face. Shit, floor it, Lena. And go where? I'm pulling over. They've already scanned our faces, Sav. We'll get new ones. Just get us out of here. Savvy Reed and Lena Romero. I'm going to need to bring you both in on charges of cyber espionage, digital theft, and... Wait, you in the back. What's that in your hand there? She held out her Capra badge with shaking hands. Officer, please... It's all been a huge m misunderstanding. I work for Capra, okay? I just dropped a field grid in this NeoCab a week ago. My boss must have just stored some data on it, but I didn't know. I've been trying to get it back. I stayed silent. Look, she's wearing it right now. Is that true, Miss Romero? Oh. I didn't know it was hers because she gave it to me. Oh, I have no idea what's going on now. Saying no, what's good saying no gonna do? Yep. Miss Reed, your employer takes missing property very seriously. I'm gonna have to bring you in, but if it's all been a mistake as you claim, you should be able to sort it out. Thank you, officer. Miss Romero, seeing as how I found stolen property and evidence on your person, I'm gonna have to bring you in. But wait. Do you two know each other? I looked at Savvy, teary and shaking, and somehow she already talking her way out of this, and I had no idea what she was actually feeling. I just stayed quiet. No, we don't. She was just my driver that night. Okay, both of you, out of the car. We stepped out, put our hands on the hood of my car. It was the first time we'd been side by side since I arrived. So it all ended right there as a cop pulled me out of my own car and into the system. For most of the charges against me, I was able to clear my name with all the recordings Savvy made of my time in L.O. Turns out her spying actually saved me. They stuck me with a misdemeanor for not disclosing her whereabouts right away, but that's it. They confiscated the field grid and nothing got out about Capra. Their crimes are, are as invisible and inevitable as ever. Sophie's law passed, and I'm out of a job. Neocab was given three months to cease all operations in Los Ojos. There wasn't much point to waiting it out. There's still one thing keeping me here. The LOPD had kept me less than 24 hours, but Savvy, she'd had more explaining to do. I spent the next night in the shipping container, wondering if she was okay. Wondering if she were okay? I think it was... Um, and what would happen to her once they knew the whole story. My heart almost stopped when her text came in, Hey, Al Bunny, can you pick me up? What could I have said but yes? God, it really turns into the sticks like the second you cross city limits, doesn't it? And so, here we were, making a beeline out of L.O. 
It still didn't seem quite real that she was just sitting in my car like the whole thing never happened. She was being weirdly quiet, but at some point I had to know the whole story. How did she get the cops to let her go? So, did they just let you go? Oh no, they didn't just let me go. They basically gave me the third degree in custody. How did you get involved with Radix? How did you get the drive? How many employees were you in contact with at Capra? They somehow thought I caused they they thought I caused I caused the riot somehow. I wish. What did you tell them? I just told them what they wanted to hear. That Jace and Radix put me up to it. Which is basically true. I didn't say anything. I wouldn't ever have come up with all these feelings on my own, you know? All these meetings with Radix really, like, changed me. They kind of brainwash you. It's been their whole tactic for decades. Why do you think they give out free lunches to kids? So I just gave the cops their info so they could talk with them. What do you mean their info? Just, like, names and stuff. Right. I bet they were happy to have that. It's such a relief to be out of there. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I literally cannot wait to put this whole mess behind us. Definitely agree with you there. You know, you're a real life saver for picking me up, Lena. <laughs> it's the least we could do. Not just trying to be a good friend. I know, but... I really just hate fighting with you. You get so different, like scary. You were kind of different too. I know, you really bring out, she's blaming it all on me. She's a terrible friend. I know, you really bring out this like dark side of me sometimes. I don't mean to. But it's okay. We were in a really messed up place, and it's nobody's fault that things got so weird. That wasn't us, you know? But the fact that we're here now, right now, in this car, it shows how strong we really are together. Radix and Capra, that's in the past. The future is just L L Lena and Savvy. I should know her name by now. Just Lena and Savvy. I didn't know where I was headed, but maybe it didn't matter. So long as I was going with her. She leaned her head against the glass and sighed, as relaxed as I had ever seen her. Aren't you just so happy? Yeah, I really am. 